morning, everyone, and God bless you as we now prepare to pray the Lord's Divine Liturgy so that we may receive His presence, His energy, His actions. We may receive His love and His grace in our lives, which is the one thing that we truly need. Let us be focused on the gifts of the Lord this morning as we prepare to receive them. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In peace let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. of the whole world, for the well-being of the Holy Churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house, and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Christ, Bishop Isaiah, the venerable priesthood for the diaconate in Christ, all the clergy and the laity, let us pray to the Lord. For the president of our country, those in civil authority, for armed forces and all the American nation, let us pray to the Lord. This city and for every city and country and for the faithful for the elderly, let us pray to the Lord. Seasonable weather for the abundance of the fruits of the earth and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For those at sea and those who travel by land or air, for the sick and the suffering, especially those impacted and fighting the coronavirus, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, that God, of God, the ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another, and our whole life to Christ our God. O you, O Lord. For to you belong our glory, honor, and worship to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Tes presbias is the otokus o tersosonimas. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, save your Savior. Tes presbias is the otokus o tersosonimas. Eti keti nirini tu kiriu dei thome eleison Andi lavus osan eleison ke diafilaxon imas o Theos Isi chariti Kiri eleison Panagia sahrandu hiperevlogimeni Sen doxu despinis imon Theotoku Hiperagia Theotoku Kia imparthenu Maria Apandon ton agio mimon efsandes E aftus ke alilus ke pasan ti zoin imon Christo to Theo parathomethá. Si Kyrie. Otison to Kratos, que su estini vasilia, que i dinamis, que i doxa. Tu patros, que tu iu, que tu agiu pneumatos, 
νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν, σώσον ημάς η Εθεού, ο Αναστάς εκ νεκρών, σαλλοντάς η Αλληλούια. Save us, O Son of God, risen from the dead. <coughs> We sing to you, Alleluia. So soon he must yet be, O Anastasik Nekron, Salandasi, Alleluia. Vox Patrice, O Akeyo Pneumati. Την ίν και αίτες τους αιώνας των αιώνων αμήν. Ο μονογενήσιος και λόγους του Θεού αθάνατος υπάρχον και κατά δεξάμενος ζειά την ημετέραν σωτηρίαν. Σαρκωθήνε εκ της Αγίας Θεοτόκου και αή Παρθένου Μαρίας ατρέπτος εν ανθρωπίσας. Σταυρωθήστε, Χριστέ, ο Θεός, θανάτο, θανάτον, πατήσας. Ίσον της Αγίας Τριάδος, συνδοξαζόμενος το Πατρί και το Αγίο Πνεύματι. Σώσον ημάς. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Kyrie eleison. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Kyrie eleison. Memorate in our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious <coughs> Lady, the felt, Orcus, and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. For you, O God, are good and love mankind, and you we ascribe glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. And the Yenisit in Parthenian Ephilaxas. Εν δικοίμηση των κόσμων που κατέληπες Θεοτό και μετέστης προς τη ζωή μη τη ρηπάρχουσα τη ζωή και τες πρεσβείες τεσσές λυτρουμένη εκ θανάτου τα ψυχάσιμων. Blessed is the entrance of your saints, always now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Sophia Orthi, Pepe Proskinis Omen, Pepe Prospes Omen, Christo Sosonimasi, When you descended unto death, O Lord, who yourself are immortal life, then did you mortify Hades by the lightning flash of your divinity. Also when you raise the dead from the netherworld, all the powers of the heavens were crying out. O giver of life, Christ our God, glory to you, on honor. You gave birth, yet you preserved your virginity. You fell asleep in death, yet did not desert the world, O Theotokos. You were transported to life. 
as you are the mother of life, and by the virtue of your intercessions, deliver our souls from death. Συνεπές βίες ακίμη τον Θεοτόκο και προστασίες αμετάθε τον ελπίδα άφος την έκρωση σου και κράτησε ο γαζοής μητέρα προς την ζωήν μετέστησε ο μήτραν η κίσας αη πάρτενο. Κυρίου Δεϊθόμε, Κύριε Λέησο, ότι Άγιος ή ο Θεός ημών και εσύ την δόξα να αναπέμπομεν το Πατρί και το Υιό και το Αγίο Πνεύματι νυν και αΐ και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν, Άγιος ο Θεός, Άγιος ο Θεός, Άγιος ο Θεός, Άγιος ο Θεός, Μη τον βόν μέλη το Θεό, 
Η δίμα πάντω λέγει, δίμα γαρεγάφη, ότι επελπίδη ο φίλιο αρωτριών αρωτριάν, και ο αλαόν τη ελπίδα αυτού μετέχει επελπίδη. Ημι σημείν τα πνευματικά εσπήραμε, μέγα εσύ μήνυμον, και σ' αρχή κατερίσομε. Η άλλη τη εξουσία ημών μετέχουσιν, που μα ουκ μάλλον ημί. Αλλού και χρυσά μεθα τη εξουσία τα αυτή, αλλά πάντα στέγομαι. Είναι αδιακοπή αυτή η δομή. Το Ευαγγελίο του Χριστού. Let us be attentive. The Lord is my strength and my song. The Lord has chastened me sorely. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, you are the seal of my apostleship in the Lord. This is my defense to those who would examine me. Do we not have the right to our food and drink? Do we not have the right to be accompanied by a wife as the other apostles and the brothers of the Lord and Cephas? Or is it only Barnabas and I who have no right to refrain from working for a living? <clears throat> who serves as a soldier at his own expense? Who plants a vineyard without eating any of its fruit? Who tends a flock without getting some of the milk? <clears throat> Do I say this on human authority? Does not the law say the same? For it is written in the law of Moses, You shall not muzzle an ox when it is treading out the grain. It is for oxen that God is concerned. <clears throat> Does he not speak entirely for our sake? It was written for our sake, because the plowman should plow in hope, and the thresher thresh in hope of a share in the crop. If we have sown spiritual good among you, is it too much if we reap your material benefit? If others share this rightful claim upon you, do we not still more? Nevertheless, we have not made use of this right, but we endure anything rather than put an obstacle in the way of the gospel of Christ. Peace be with you, the dead. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. We out a man to you, Evangelio. Irini. Ε το πνεύμα τη σου. Ε το κατά το ανάγνωσμα. Πρόσχομαι. Δόξα σου, κύριε, δόξα σου. Είπε ο κύριο την παραβολή τάφτην. Ομοιώθη η βασιλεία των ουρανών, ανθρώπο βασιλεί. Όσοι θέλησε, συνάρε λόγων με τα δουλ, των δούλων αυτού. Αρξαμένου δε αυτού, συνέρι, προσυνέχθη αυτό η σοφιλέ τη μυρίων ταλάντων. Μη έχοντο δε αυτού αποδούνε, εκέλεσε να αυτόν ο κύριο αυτού παραθύνε και τη γυναίκα αυτού και τα τέκνα και πάντα όσα είχε και αποδοθήνε. Πεσόν ούν ο δούλο, προ εκείνη αυτό λέγον. Κύριε μακροθύμισον επί μη και πάντα σε αποδώσω. Πλακνιστής δε ο Κύριος του δούλου εκείνου, απέλησε αυτόν και το δάνειο να φύγεν αυτό. <coughs> Εξερθών δε ο δούλος εκείνος, έβρεν ένα των συνδούλων αυτού, ως όφιλε ένα αυτό εκατόν δυνάρια και κρατήσα αυτόν Έπνιγε λέγον, απόδοσμοι τι οφείλεις. Πεσώνουν ο συνδούλος αυτού εις το πόδας, εις τους πόδας αυτού, 
παρεκάλλει αυτόν λέγον, μακροθύμισον επί μη και αποδώσωσι, ο δε ουκ ήθελεν, αλλά απελθόν έβαλε αυτόν εις φυλακήν, έως σου αποδώ το οφειλόμενον. Ιδώντες δε οι συνδούλοι αυτού, τα γενόμενα ελυπήθησαν σφόδρα, και ελθόντες διεσάφησαν το Κύριο Αυτόν, πάντα τα γενόμενα. Τότε προσκαλεσάμενος Αυτόν ο Κύριος Αυτού, λέγει Αυτό, δούλε πονηρέ, πάσαν την οφειλήν εκείνη αφήκασή, επί παρακαλέσας με ουκέδι, και εσύ ελάλησε των συνδούλων σου, ως και εγώ σε ηλέησα. Και οργιστής ο Κύριος αυτού, παρέδω και να αυτόν τις βασανίστες, εού από δω, πάντο οφειλωμένον αυτό. Ούτω και ο πατήρ μου επουράνιος ποιήσι ημίν, εάν μη αφήτε έκαστος το αδελφό αυτό, από τον καρδίον ημό, ο, τα παραπτώματα αυτό. Reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. The Lord said this parable. The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the reckoning, one was brought to him who owed him 10,000 talents. And as he could not pay, his Lord ordered him to be sold with his wife and children and all that he had in payment to be made. So the servant fell on his knees imploring him, Lord, have patience with me and I will pay you everything. And out of pity for him, the Lord of that servant released him and forgave him the debt. But that same servant as he went out came upon one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred denarii. And seizing him by the throat, he said, pay what you owe. So his fellow servant fell down and besought him, Have patience with me, and I will pay you. He refused and went and put him in prison until he should pay his debt. When his fellow servants saw what had taken place, they were greatly distressed. And they went and reported to their Lord all that had taken place. Then his Lord summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you all that debt because you besought me. And should not you have had mercy on your fellow servant as I had mercy on you? And in anger his Lord delivered him to the jailers till he should pay all his debt. So also my heavenly Father will do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother from your heart. Δόξα εσύ Κύριε, δόξα εσύ Κύριε. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, I mean, good morning everyone, Kalimera. A bit burned out, a bit dried up on the constant negative and depressing 24-hour news cycle that we've had for the last six months. I took a trip this last week to the Good News Network, the one that I've mentioned before, a beautiful little website that exists out there that just puts out positive stories. And as I was reading this last week on the Good News Network, a story about a priest in England who, to raise money for his church publicly was going to overcome his fear of heights and he was going to climb up the spire on the exterior of their church 165 feet. I looked at this because I'm also a priest and I'm also a priest that has a fear of heights. And I said, I don't care how much money the church needs raised, there's no way in the world I'm climbing up 165 feet. I won't even go up there into the crawl space around the dome inside of the church. The good Lord blessed me with being six foot nine and that was just high enough for me. When I was a younger man, I would jump up to 10 feet and come right back down. There was no more. 165 feet up that big spire and I started to think again, yeah, there's no way I would do that. And then you start to think about these different 
experiences of church and how in a lot of the Western Christian churches they had these large spires that they constructed, towering up into the sky, trying to architecturally convey the awesomeness of God. But then you look how within our beautiful Orthodox tradition, we never adapted to that. We never took that on as a part of our tradition. Rather, we maintained what was prevalent in the East coming to us from Byzantium, a shorter church typically, that had a round experience, typically some sort of a dome, either on the interior or at least on the exterior, or at least on the interior like in our church. And the reason why was to convey the sense of embrace, that God isn't so far up there away from us, like at the top of a 165-foot spire reaching into the clouds, but rather He's right here, just a level above us. And that architectural experience conveying to us God's presence of being right here with us is in the form of that circle, of that dome experience to convey to us that not only is God right here, but He's also embracing us. He's right here and He's hugging us. He's loving us. He's taking care of us. And we recognize that God as our Father is our parent and He's always present in our lives. He's that close. He's right here with us, and He's here so that He can embrace us. He's not one of these helicopter parents that's hanging around right on top of their kids so they can spy on them and see every little thing that they're doing. God already knows what we're doing. He's not one of these that's trying to micromanage and control our lives. He's given us free choice. If anything, there's only a risk to God to be this close to us and to look at his children and say, oh my goodness, what are you doing now today? Do I really need to be this close and watch all of you right now? For us, we should take great comfort, phenomenal comfort, in being able to trust implicitly that God is right here with us and he is embracing us. We have a God who will embrace us to such an extent that he's willing to do so much. He's willing to forgive all of our debts like we heard about in today's gospel reading. But you see, instead of 10,000 talents, a great financial debt, the debt that we have with God are our sins. And he's willing to forgive all of it if we just ask him and we actually mean it. Our God who's this close to us and who's embracing us stays that close to us so that he can continually remind us how much that we're loved. So that he can continually fuel a self-awareness, a self-identity, an understanding of self-worth and each and every one of our lives so that when we go out into life and we see the storms of life and we get to experience the good of this life but also the bad, we can always walk up tall, straight, erect, filled with confidence. Because we know that we're loved. We know that we have worth beyond measure. We have a God that wants to stay this close to us for one reason and one reason only, and that is because He loves us. How fortunate are we? Yeah, it's easy over these last six months to get down and to be impacted by the darkness of this life to get depressed, to be filled with anxiety and stress. And so I want us to just be able to take these few moments this Sunday morning and be reminded that there's more good out there than there's bad. There's more light than there is darkness. Because God is always here with us. Now there's only one true thing that God expects from us in return for His close presence, His embrace, and His unwavering love for every single one of us. And that is that we treat one another with love and respect. Is that not what we heard and what was taught to us in today's Gospel reading? The Lord, the Master, forgives this great, phenomenally huge debt and then the servant goes out and sees someone that owes him a couple of pennies, 100 denarii, grabs him by the neck, says pay up, and when he can't, he throws him in jail. 
And because he treated a peer the way that he did, that is when the account comes from God. You see, this is what God wants from us, to treat one another with love and respect. But in order for us to do that, in order for us to do it well, to do it in a substantive and authentic way, we first have to understand and accept the love that God gives to us. We first have to understand what our own individual self-worth is. We first have to understand what our identity is. We first have to respect ourselves before we can ever go out and offer respect and love to someone else. And perhaps why there's such an abundance of darkness and negative stories out there right now in these last six months is because we have forgotten or we've simply trilled off the notion that we have to love and treat one another with respect. And perhaps we've done that because we've abandoned our relationship with God and we don't know that he's present in our lives. Just right there. Not 165 feet up, but he's right there. And he's here to embrace us. So let's get back to basics. Not only as Christians, but as the beloved children of God. Let's be reminded and hold steadfast, first and foremost, that God is real, that he's present in our lives, and that he loves us. Then let's take a step forward in maturity and understand that his presence and his love for us informs us that we have worth. We are valuable. We count. And then let's take the plunge all the way into the deep end of actual responsible Christian living. And let's begin in treating ourselves and then others with love and respect. If we do that, I venture to say that much of this darkness that exists in the world will dissipate. Because as we know, wherever there's light, darkness cannot exist. So why is it that we have so much darkness? Now we can get into the political conversations, we can get into the social conversations, all of that. But at the root of all of it, it's because we haven't been willing to let the light in. Today, in this divine liturgy, we are all receiving the light of Jesus Christ, the embrace of our Father. Now let's go into the world and deliver it to someone else this week. If you and I do that, it's going to have an effect. And the world's going to get better. And it won't just be the good news network that we go to to find a story that doesn't depress us anymore. The world will transform, but only if we become the catalyst of it by spreading the light and the love of God. Amen. Again, we bow before you and pray to you, O good and loving God. Hear our supplication, cleanse our souls and bodies from every defilement of flesh and spirit, and grant that we stand for it all without blame and condemnation. Grant also, O God, progress in life, faith, and spiritual discernment to the faithful who pray with us, so that they may always worship you with reverence and love, take your holy mysteries, without blame or condemnation, become worthy of your heavenly kingdom. Grant that always being protected by your power, to you may offer glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Κοίτα και ρουβί μυστικό εικονίζοντα και τη ζωοποιώ τριάδε των τεσσάγιων ύμνων προσάδοντε. Πάσαν είναι ιδιωτική να πατώ με τα μέρη μου ω τον βασιλέα των ορών υποδεξόμενων τη αγγελική αόρα του δωροπορούμενου τάξη. Αλληλουία, αλληλουία, αλληλουία.
Ελέ, ο Θεό, κατά το μεγαλαιό, και κατά το πίτρο των εκτιμών, στο τσάλι του το όνομά μου, επιπλέον πλήρων με αποξενομίε μου και αποξενομίε, και ψαματίε μου καθαρίσουν με την ανομία μου, εγώ γινόφτω και αμαρτία μου, ενώ πλέον και διαπατώ. Σύμφωνο νυμάτων και το πονηρό, ενώ πλέον σε πίσω από την αντικειωτή σε πλόγη. Και νικήσε το πριν εθέστε, τη δουγάρ, εν ανομίε με λύθιν και εν αμαρτίε, εκεί στη μιμή τη μου, η δουγάρ αλήθεια εν κάθε τα άδεια και τα πίτρε τη οποία. Έβλωσα με τα δύσκολα ισόπ και ισόπ με την ισόπο και καθαρίσσε με την ίδια και υπερκύνω με τα δύσκολα κουτίσια. Αγαλία στην καφροσύνη, αγαλιάστε, αγαλιάστε, δεσέτε τα φαινόμενα πρόσωπα των πρόσωπων σου από τον αμαρτιό μου. Και πάσα νομίε με εξάλλου των καρδίων καθαράξε τον εμείο Θεό και πνεύμα εξέτε γέννησα με την ίδια και τη ίδια μια απορρίφθηνα από το προσώπου και το πνεύμα στο άγιο μια δαμήνια που μου απόδοσε την αγαλία του κρύου σου και πνεύμα τη γεμονικό ρηκτό με δίδαξον ο νομό σου ουσία. Και ασεβεί σε ψεύτε, ψεύτε, σε μεσημάτα μου, Θεό, ο Θεό, τη δικαιοσύνη. Σωτηρία μου, αγκαλιά τη γλώσσα μου, δικαιοσύνη σου, κύριε τα χείλη μου, να αγγείλω. Κύριε τα χείλη μου, να αγγείλω, και το θέμα να αγγείλω, να αγγείλω, ότι θέλει να σα πει, εδώ καλό τα πράγματα. Ο Θεό, ούκα του δεν όσο του είναι καθαρό. Ο Θεό, λάστι με τα μαρτολό και λέει, ο Θεό, λάστι με τα και λέει, ο Θεό, λάστι με τα μαρτολό και λέει, ο ο Θεό τουλάχιστον με τον Αμαρτωλό. Ανέβη ο Θεός στον αραγμό Κύριος στην φωνή σάλπικο. Αντωνυμό μυστή Κύριος ο Θεός εν τη βασιλεία αυτού πάντοτε νυν και αεί και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Ευλόρα Γαν, remember all of you in his kingdom. Always, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. De todos vosotros que Dios el Señor se acuerde en su reino, perpetuamente ahora y siempre, y por los siglos de los siglos. Si Rosini es un misterio de Dios, es una facilidad que cuando te Νίκη αή και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Του αρχιεπισκόπου μόνο τη Αίου, τη αρχιεροσύνη αυτού του κύριου του Θεού, τη βασιλεία του πάντου δεν είναι και ει του αιώνα. Ο ευσύμων ή ο στήφ τα θελών από του ξύλου, το αρχάντων σώμα και ενσυντώνει καθαρών έλυσα. Αγάθενο δε στο ταγάθο του και αρώμα σε μνήμα σε καινούργια τη Πληρώσε με την αίσθηνη μόνο το κυρίω. Υπέ το πω του θέλων τιμιών δώρων του κυρίω. Δεϊφόμε. Αντιλαβούς όσων ελέησον και διαφύλαξον ημά ο Θεό τη η χάρητη. Διαλέησον. Την ημέρα πάσα τελεία να γίνει ειρηνική και αναμάρτητον παρά του κυρίου ετισόμεθα. Όσου κυρίε. Τον Angel of Peace, the faithful guide, the guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Give this in remission of our sins and transgressions. Let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For things that are good and profitable to our souls, and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. 
that we may complete the reminder of our lives in peace and penitence. Let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. The end of our lives may be Christian without pain, blameless and peaceful, and for a good account of the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask. Grant this, O Lord. Great in our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. Most holy, all the saints, Lord, let us commend Lord, ourselves and one another, Lord, and our whole life unto Lord, Christ our God. To you, O Lord. The mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Dini Pati Agapiso menalilu sina enomoni amologiso me Paterai unde agios nevma Priaga omou Tiras, tas tiras, in Sofia proskomen. Pistevo, Sinteon, Patera, Patronato, Pitin, Ranon, Pegis, Oratot, Mato, Teorato, Pisena, Kirion, Isis, Christon, Torion, Tutur, Progeni, Prog Patros, Vigena, Pugon, Pugon, Vosse, Consos, Teon, Alitum, Ecteu, Alitum, Genitenta, Ecteu, Alitenta, Pus, Patrilio, Da Panta, Iene, Υπότιτλοι AUTHORWAVE και ανθρώπους και διατηρητέρας και Μαρίας της Παρτένο και Ανθρωπίσαντα. Σταυροθένα τεπεριμών επί ποντίο πιλάτου και παθώντα και τα φέντα και να στάντα την τρίτη μέρα κάτω από τα γραφάς και να θώνα εις τους ουρανούς και καδεζόμενων δεξιών του Πατρός και πάλι εν ερχόμενο με τα δόξης φρήνες ζώνας και νεκρούς ούτης βασιλείας που καίστε τέλος και στο πνεύμα του Άγιον των Κύριων του Ζωπιών τον πατρός επορευόμενο, τον τσιπατρή και ιό συμπροσκυνούμενον και συνδοξαζόμενο τον αλλήσα διά του προφητών. Μία αναγίαν καθολική και αποστική εκκλησία, ομολογών βάτη, να σάφησε αμαρτιών, προσδοκώ ανάσταση νεκρών και ζωή του μέλλον προς αιώνος. Αμήν. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from the heavens, and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man. Crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, he suffered and was buried, rising on the third day according to the scriptures, and ascending into the heavens, he is seated at the right hand of the Father, and coming again in glory, to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who spoke to the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand right, let us stand in awe, let us be attentive that we may present the holy offering in peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be here with all of you and with your spirit let us lift our hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks unto the lord it is proper and right it is proper and right to praise you to glorify you to bless you to thank you to worship you in all places of your dominion for you are god ineffable and comprehensible invisible inconceivable existing always as you do exist 
You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, you have brought us from nothingness into being, and when we fell away, did raise us up again, and you do not cease doing everything to bring us to heaven and grant us your kingdom to come. For all these things we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. For all these things we know and do not know, for the visible and invisible bounties that have been bestowed upon us. We thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to receive from our hands, even though you are surrounded by thousands of archangels, myriads of angels, by the cherubim and seraphim, which are six-winged, many-eyed, and soar with their wings. Singing, exclaiming, proclaiming, the triumphal hymn and saying, Ayus, ayus, kirius sabao, kirius urano tigi doktisu, osa na en tisipsis, tisu plegimena sur komnosu no nomati kiriu, osa na o en tisipsis. Pliris oranos, eigi doktisu, osa na en tisipsis, Ευλογημένος ο ερχόμενος εν ονόματι Κυρίου πόσο να το ενδυσύψεις της. Λάβετε, φάγετε του του μέστη του σώματο υπέρημων κλώμενων η σάφης είναι αμαρτιόν. Αμήν. Πίτσι του πάντες του το έστι το αίμα μου και της σκηνής της νεφτήκης, το υπέρημον και πολλών εκεινόμενων, η σάφης είναι αμαρτιόν. Αμήν. Τα σά εκ των σών σοι προσφέρομαι για τα πάντα και δια πάντα. Once again we offer to you this rational and bloodless worship and we beseech you and pray and call upon you. Send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here presented and make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. And that which is within this cup the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Change them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Go the day, maybe to those who receive into the Christ. Εξαιρέτως της Παναγίας Αχράντου υπερευλογημένη εν δόξου δεσποινής ημών Θεοτόκου και αι Παρθένου Μαρία. Γένε πάσε μακαριζομένσε την μόνη Θεοτόκον νενίκηντε
above all, remember, Lord, our heart, Bishop Isaiah, grant that he may serve your late churches in peace, keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years, who rightly teach the word of your truth. Remember also, Lord, those who each of us call to mind, and all your people. And all your people. Και δώσει μην ενενείς το όματι και μία καρδίαν δοξάζειν και ανυμνήν, το πάντημον και μεγάλο πρεπές όνομά σου, του Πατρός και του Υιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματος νυν και αή, και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. And the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ shall be with all of you. And with your spirit. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. These precious gifts which have been offered and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. Όπως ο φιλάνθρωπος Θεός ημών, ο προσεξάμενος αυτά εις το Άγιον και Πουράνιον και νοερών αυτού θυσιαστήριον, Ίσως μην ευωδίας πνευματικής, αντί κατά πέμψη μην τη Θείαν Χάριν, και δωρεάν του Αγίου Πνεύματος δε ηθόμε. Κύριε Λαϊσό, την ενότητα της πίστεως και την κοινωνία του Αγίου Πνεύματος ετισάμενη, εαυτούς και αλλήλους και πάσαν τη ζωή ημών, Χριστό το Θεό. Παραθόμεθα, Κύριε. Ταξίως και μας δέσποτα με τα παρησίες κατεκρίτως του μάνι πικαλίστες έτουνε ποράνιον θεβόν Πατέρα και λέγει Πάτερ ημών, ο εν της ουρανής, αγιαστεί το όνομά σου, ετέλω η βασιλεία σου, γεννηθεί το δομένημά σου, ως ρανό και πει της γης, τον άρτον ημών την υπιούσιον, δώσει μην σήμερον, και άξιοι μην τα πλήμητα ημών, ως και μη σ' αφήνους βλέτες ημών, και μη συνέχεις ημάς της πειρασμών, αλλά είσαι ημάς από του πόνηρου. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who have passed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Father nuestro que estás en los cielos, santificado sea tu nombre. Venga a nosotros tu reino, hágase tu voluntad en la tierra como en el cielo. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día. Perdona nuestras ofensas como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. No nos dejes caer en la tentación y líbranos del mal. Abana la di fis samawat, li ataqaddas ismuk, li yati malakutuk, li takun mashiatuk, kama fis sama kathalik ala al-ard. Khubzan al-jauhari atina al-yawm, watruk lana ma'alayna, kama natruk nahnu liman lana alayh. ولا تدخلنا في التجربة لكن نجينا من الشرير. Thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Irin ipasi etop nematisu. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. To you, O Lord. We thank you, O King Invisible, who by your infinite power have created all things, and by the fullness of your mercy have brought forth all things out of nothing into being. Do you yourself, O Master, look down from heaven upon those who have bowed their heads before you? For they have not bowed before flesh and blood, but before you, our Almighty God. Do you therefore, O Master, administer these offerings to all of us for the good according to the special need of each of us? Stay with those at sea, accompany those who travel, and to you who are the physician of our souls and bodies, heal the sick. Through the mercy, grace, and love for mankind, every only begotten and Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, our God, hear us from your holy dwelling place and from the throne of glory of your kingdom, and come sanctify us who sit, you who sit above with the Father, yet are invisibly present among us. Let your pure body and precious blood be given to us by your mighty hand, and through us to all your people. Rose for men, Taia, Dis, Ayi, Melison Despotanayan, Dis, Ayi, 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 Dis
Πιστεύω κύριε και ομολογώ ότι εσύ αληθώ ο Χριστό ο Υιός του Θεού του Ζώντα που εθώνει στον κόσμο με αρτολού σώσεων πρώτο είμαι εγώ. Έτσι πιστεύω ότι τούτο αυτό έχει το άφαντο σώμα σου και τούτο αυτό έχει το τιμή ο θέμα σου που δεν μου το λέει στον Χριστό. Με τα παραπτώματά μου τα ακούσια και τα, τα ακούσια και τα ακούσια, τα εν λόγω, τα εν έργο, τα εγνώσια και τα εξωτερικά με κατακρίτω με τα σκήνη. Τον αρχάντο των μυστηρίων εισάπτων των μαρτιών και η ζωή είναι αιώνιο να μείνει. Η δούβα δίζω προ τη κοινωνία πλαστού και με φλέξη με τη μετουσία πηγαρή πάρκη των αξιού φλέγων. Αλλά ούν κάθαρον εκπάθη με κλείδο του δείπνου του μυστικού σήμερον η έθεου κοινωνών με παράλαβε. Ο μίγα τη εκτρή των μυστηρίων είπο. Που φίλοι μα ειδώσω καθ' άπερο Ιούδα, αλλά ω πολιτή, ομολογώ τη μυστική μου κυρία και βασιλεία. Τι απλό μπορώ να πω, Γιώργο, Φάιν Πλάτ, 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 Φάιν Δέσποτα φιλάνθρωπε κύριε Ιησού Χριστέ ο Θεός Μη ισχρήμα μη γέννη το τα Αγία Τάφτα Δια των ανάξεων είναι εν με Αλλά εις κάθαρσιν και αγιασμό ψυχητή και σώματος Και εις αραβώνα μελούσης ζωής και βασιλείας Εμεί δεν το προσκολάθε το Θεό Αγαθόν εστί τι θέστε εν το Κύριο Τι ελπίδα της σωτηρίας μου I will take up the other pickets to be good for us. My brothers and sisters in Christ, forgive me. Της ιεροσύνης του μυστή Κύριος στο Θεό και την Βασιλεία του Πάνου και την Ήχη Αΐ και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Του προσέρχομαι Χριστό, στα θανά του Βασιλή και Θεό ημών, έτσι με τα διδοτήμη. Δημητρίου των Αξιών Πρεσβυτέρων, το Τίμιο και Πανάγιο και Ζωηρών αίμα του Κυρίου και Θεού και Σωτήριος του Μονησού Χριστού εις άφηση να μαρτιών και ζωήν την αιώνιον. Τούτο ήρθε το Τιλίον και τις ανομίες μου και αφελεί τις ανομίες μου και τις αμαρτίες μου περί καθαρίειν δόξα σε Κύριο Θεός δόξα σε Κύριο Θεός δόξα σε Κύριο Θεός φωτίζω πως είναι μέρος όλοι μη γάρτη Κυρίου δόξα ψέ να τηλεφόρευε νύν και αγάλου σιών σε διάγνη τέπιζε ο δόκια στην έργεια της δόξας φωτίας ο φιλής ο βιχτάς φωνής με τη μόνα ψευδός χάρε παγκυλοδέψε σε μέχρι θερμάτων αιώνιων Χριστέ στην φύση άγκυρον ελπίδος Ποσοβία και λόγια του Θεού και δύναμη ηθική, δίδου ή μην εκπότερον στη μετάσχευση των ανέστερων ημέρα τη Βασιλεία. Του ευχαριστούμε εσύ δέσποτα του Λάμπου που ευεργείται το μυθόν. Ότι και την παρούσα ημέρα καταξίω σα ημάθανε πουρανίων και αθανάτων μυστηρίων, ορθοτόμησων ημών την οδό. Στήριξαν πάντα σε εμά εν το φόβο του, ρούρισαν ημών τη ζωή. Ασφάλισε ημών τα διαβήματα. Ευχέ και ηγεσίε εν δόξα Θεοτόκου και η Παρθένο Μαρία και πάντων των Αγίων.
I will pay my vows to the Lord now in the presence of all his people. Good morning, everyone, and God bless you. As we approach this time to receive Holy Communion, let me once again remind everyone now uh, with our particular protocols that are in place to please follow the direction of our ushers. You'll be released by pew. And then as you approach forward with your pew, or the people in your pew rather, one at a time, please approach either the chalice on the left or the right to come and receive the Holy Sacrament. There will be a cloth held underneath your chin just in case any of the sacrament spills from the spoon. And I ask you to please refrain from wiping your mouth with the cloth. May the good Lord be with us this day and always. Over to you, peace, you scare happy, prosel to tell the fear of God, faith and love draw near. of the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas. But like the thief I confess to you, remember me, O Lord, in your kingdom. <clears throat> Shout aloud to God all the earth, sing and greatly rejoice and sing psalms. Shout aloud before the Lord our King. In the city of the Lord of hosts, in the city of our God, glorious things were said concerning you, O city of God. His place was made in peace and his dwelling in Zion. O Theos et Themelios in Athen, East on Eona. O Theos and Meso Aftis, Keu Salethis et Te. Igias et Oski Noma, Aftu O Ipsis Tos. Ayosini, Que Megalo Prepia, and Ton Ayas Mati Aftu. I will take up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I will both sleep and rest in peace. Return, O my soul, to your rest. Let all who hate Zion be shamed and turn back. You fashioned me and placed your hands on me. You hold fast my right hand, and with the glory you take hold of me. Kyrie is hirasu. Παραθήσομαι το πνεύμα μου, διελεύσομαι εν τόπος κοινής ταυμαστής, εως του οίκου του Θεού. Εν φωνή αγαλιάσεως και εξομολογήσεως οίκου εορτάζοντος. 
πληρώσεις με ευρωσύνης μετά του προσώπου σου, κορταστήσω με εν αυτήν εμή την δόξα σου, εξηγέρθην και νέτη ημή μετά σου. Αυτή η αλλιώσεις της δεξιάς του συψής του, κύκλου αυτού, η σκηνή αυτού. This changes by the right hand of the Most High. His tabernacle was around him. I remember your name from generation to generation. Arise, O Lord, into your rest, you and the ark of your holiness. Save the Lord, you people, and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith. Worship in the undivided Trinity. For the Trinity has saved us. Blessed is our God. Always, now, and ever, and under the ages of ages. Amen. Ορθή με τα λαβόντε των θείων Αγίων Αχράντων, Αθανάτων, Επουρανίων και Ζωπιών, Φρικτών του Χριστού Μυστηρίων. Αξίω ευχαριστήσομεν. Το Κυρίο, Κύριε Λαϊσόν, αντιλαβούς όσων ελέησον και διαφυλάξον ημάς ο Θεός, τη συγχαρητή, Κύριε Λαϊσόν, I've been asking the Lord that this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful and sinless, let us commend ourselves unto one another, and all our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. You are sanctification and to you we ascribe glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace. Let us pray unto the Lord. O oh Lord, who blesses those who bless you and sanctifies those who trust in you, save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church, sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. You glorify them by your divine power and forsake not us who set our hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the priests, to our civil authorities, to the armed forces, and to all your people. For all good giving and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. And to you we ascribe glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Ήταν ο Μακυρίου ευλογημένον από του νυν έως του αιώνου. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth into the ages. Ήταν ο Μακυρίου ευλογημένον από του νυν έως του αιώνων. Κυρίου δε ηθόμεν, Κύριε Λαϊσόν, με το blessing of the Lord and his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love for mankind, always now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, O Christ, our God, our hope, glory to you. May Christ, our true God, who rose from the dead, have mercy upon us and save us through the intercessions of his most pure and holy mother. By the power of the precious and life-giving cross, through the protection of the honorable Father, the power of the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet, the born of John the Baptist, of the holy glorious praise for the apostles of the holy fathers among the saints, great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, our patrons, and intercessors, the heaven of Elar Bays of the Great, together with John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, whose divine service we have celebrated of the holy, glorious, triumphant martyrs of our holy and God-bearing fathers of the holy and righteous ancestors of the Lord, Joachim and Anna of St. Irineos, whose memory we commemorate this day, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us as a good, loving, and merciful God. Amen. Through the intercessions of St. Irineos, may the all eternity have mercy on us and keep us this day and always. Please be seated. 
calmada. Good morning, everyone. Kalimersas. Wasn't it great to see some altar boys during the liturgy again after six months? After six months to see some of our boys back in the altar, wearing the robes, serving the way that we all are called to serve in one capacity or another was great. It just it made liturgy uh, seem a little bit more normal to me, and hopefully it did to you as well. But as great as it was to be able to have altar boys back in the altar during the liturgy again, it was also very painful because it could only have a small handful of them. And to have an experience with a couple of boys come around back and have uh, our acolyte leaders tell them they'll be assigned on another Sunday was painful to me. Very painful to me. I've never once, as a parish priest, been an adherent to this mentality that you can only have certain people back in the altar and you tell other boys, no, no, come another Sunday. Or if you didn't make it by a certain time, you can't come in. Could you imagine if God treated us that way? Then none of us have a shot at getting into the kingdom. I like a lot of boys in the altar. And if they come at the beginning of Orthros or right before the end of the liturgy, they're welcome in the Lord's altar if they're there to serve, which I know our boys are. And so it was painful at the same time, and it reminded us that we're not yet able to jump back into the deep end of all things going back to normal. I'm very thankful to His Eminence, Metropolitan Isaiah, who has opened up for us underneath whatever local directives that we have, an experience of community life, and that locally, underneath those local directives from our city or our county or our state, we can begin taking appropriate steps towards community life once again in terms of gathering. But that doesn't mean that we're going to dive back in. It means we're going to go in stages. A lot of our programs are going to be turned into hybrid programs at this point in time, and we don't know 100% what that's completely going to look like. We're working through it. And so, in as much as all of us are excited to be able to start gathering and some capacities again outside of the liturgy to be able to start opening up, as I say, community life. I ask you at the same time to please be patient because there's no one here more than me that wants to get back to normal and better. And better. And so know that whatever pain or anxiety or disappointment that you have, that we didn't have 20 boys in the altar, we only had four today. No, it pains me more. Whatever pain or anxiety that you have to know that we can't get together and all be seated around a table in the hall right now and hug each other and kiss each other, it pains me more than it pains you. So I ask you to please be patient and know that we are moving forward responsibly, but always with the goal always with the goal of how do we bring ourselves closer together and bring ourselves closer to God in the ways that we can at this point in time. One staged experience that we're not back yet at, and there's been a lot of questions about this, and so perhaps we should talk about it for just a moment or two, is the distribution of Andiviron. I've shared for six months that it's been a directive of the Archdiocese of our metropolis, that Andiviron is not to be distributed. But I still get questions all the time. And I understand, because it's a part, for those of us that grew up in the Orthodox Church, that we remember from the time that we were knee-high to our parents, we tried to grab as much as we could, take it home, see if we could sneak some in our pockets on the way home, right? To find out, did the priest give me a big piece or a little piece? Did you get two? Did you get one? Did you have a piece of the seal on yours or not? We, right? We've been there before. Don't think it's not just kids. Adults are the worst. The worst, trust me. I get it. But let's talk a little bit about what Andiviron is. Andiviron technically means not the gifts. It means this isn't communion. The real reason why you came to church was to receive the body and blood of Jesus Christ. The gifts. 
Because that's what sanctifies us. That's what not only forgives, but remits our sins and makes us whole. And Dideron is the leftover bread from the loaf of bread, the prosero, that the pieces were taken out to be used, offered, and transformed for Holy Communion. And those leftover pieces are cut up and distributed. And distributed at the end of service. In the early church, it was to those who were under a penance that couldn't receive Holy Communion so that they could at least walk away with something, some kind of a blessing from the church. So they could walk away with at least a piece of bread that was blessed to serve to them as a reminder to say, boy, I better get my act together so that I can receive the real gifts when I come back next time. Now our common experience has been something else, as I said. How many pieces can I get? Did it have the seal? The whole nine yards. Okay? Perhaps during this time where we still are not distributing Andidron, rather than trying to find a way to still get some, or complain to me, or complain to the parish council members, or just go home and gossip about it, Maybe we could use this as a greater call to action to say, what do I need to do so I can get the real gifts responsibly every Sunday? Think about that for a moment. How much more edifying will it be for each and every one of us in our lives if rather than spending the time gossiping and complaining about not the gifts, the reminder that you didn't receive communion, originally, to say, let me spend that time preparing myself to receive the gifts and walk away from the liturgy, depart from the liturgy each week, completely edified, healed, and made whole. Now, once again, I get it because I grew up doing the same thing. Big hands, quick hands. I used to get a lot of on at the end on Sundays. I get it. But let's use this as an opportunity to mature in our faith. We have the emotional connection. Let's work on the intellectual as well, too. Understanding why. And then that can impact how we prepare ourselves for liturgy each week. I'll be continuing to put announcements out to our community, and we'll have our community newsletter that will come out in about a week for September that will articulate the programs that we are opening up and how we are going to go about doing that, moving into our fall season as well. So please pay attention to that, and I'll provide updates from here on the Soleil at the end of liturgies as well. Once again, I ask for your continued patience, and know, know that with the blessings of His Eminence and always in a responsible manner, we are moving as swiftly as we can. Always for the community's well-being, not only spiritually, but also emotionally and in terms of physical health. May the glory of God continue to be each and every one of us, edify us and sustain us throughout this week. Please dismiss yourselves and go forth to a great week in peace. God bless you all. Thank you.